friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Hello, my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike360 here, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. So we're at Lake Catherine in Palos Heights, Illinois, and we're here to do a 3.2 mile hike. We're gonna be hiking along the Cal Sag, Sag uh, Canal Trail. Cal Sag Trail. Uh, and that's uh, in, in totality, it's about 16 miles, but we're just doing a small section. Uh, so we'll be hiking up and down at the Cal Sag and then uh, back towards Lake Catherine right here. Uh, this whole area that we're filming today used to be just total crap, wasteland, um, overgrown bushes, just garbage. Uh, until the county of Palos decided to make it a, a, a preserve or a, a park district, and uh, it's, it looks beautiful. It really does. I mean, there's there's farming, there's uh, there's prairie, the Buzz and Bloom Prairie. Yes, yes, biking pads and hiking trails. Uh, there's there's a lot of cool stuff. So um, we got to go check it out, and we will show you what we see. <clears throat> so let's do it. I'll say coming in, uh, we are in downtown Palos, and uh, I can't imagine how horrible this must have been in terms of just industrial waste. But now it looks really great, like it's enhancing property values, the neighborhood is right here, there's homes and housing, pro uh, not project, but housing development. This is a pretty, I'm impressed already. Wow, that is some pretty brutal graffiti on this. <laughs> On this bridge, it says your mom is a slut whore. Oh, well that's... <laughs> I'm less impressed with that. Yep. But look at the trail here. So this is this is definitely CalSAG trail. trail. We're part of the Palos system, so we passed the Swallow Cliff stairs, and we passed some of the other Palos hikes that we've done. And of course, we've done so many hikes along the I&M and the Des Plaines River. <laughs> and we have a prairie, a small prairie, in, in bloom a little bit, at least growing. Neil, any thoughts? Well, we just started, but I'm excited to see what it's all about. There's a lot of, like, history connected to this place from the description of Ryan Red, which is pretty cool. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. Hey, welcome back. We are still just getting started, but as usually the case on the way there, this is a there and back hike. On the way there, we get all excited about the new scenes. Uh, so across is a golf course. I'm not, I assume this is still part of the Cal, uh, you know, Palos complex. There looks like there's a public pathway at least. This is Harlem Avenue, 80, not 83, Harlem Avenue. I forget the number of what it was, but uh, whatever. It's Harlem Avenue. This is a pretty nice complex there. Gorgeous. Um, I'm wondering, we'll have to look at the Google Maps to see where that water is coming from. Is that coming only from the golf course, you know, kind of upstream from all the water that the golf course collects and then down. There's a lot of foam, so again, I'm making wild guesses here that that could be some phosphorus and some other things that are from natural fertilizers coming off upstream. Or, what is the thing that you read? That the stuff that cools down the water and aer uh, aerates it. You on the description. And we, now? Yeah, we're using oh, words the, um, like a sepa. sepa. Yeah, okay, sepa. Right. So, do you remember what that was? No. Because this could be one of those sepas. Could be. Could be. So screw, forget the phosphorus and fertilizer, bad stuff, and think about aeration. Maybe that's just all good here. S E P A. 
We had a bike accident. Uh, we didn't see it, but we saw the aftermath. A lot of bikers here today. You want the camera on for this? Yeah, why not? at Lake Catherine and they got boat rentals just a gorgeous lily pad lake here lots of people I'm going into the herb garden next to the nature center looks like they got tables for something but I uh, with all the cooking I do uh, and the herb growing I do I'm certainly interested in the different pieces so they got some the big excitement for me was uh, curry they have a curry plant growing and that just smelled wonderful and I think that's the next one I'm gonna have to add to my garden. I love all the different forms of rosemary. I guess if I had a garden like this I'd probably get into the different variants. So I can do tasting tests, a bunch of dills. I know, I know there's a lot of different kinds of basils, and this is the basil atrium. More time. Mm. Boy, oh boy, how fun that would be. All right, let's go see if we can find the other one. Butterfly garden. Did, did he go down by the water, Neil? I don't know. That is a great question. It doesn't look like he can do that from this garden. Uh, you got canoers on the pond. Well, this is certainly the highlight of, of this hike is the Catherine, Lake Catherine. Oh, he's on the bench. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, let's head on over. Well, I gotta say, this is certainly something that must be done in the summertime. What an idyllic lily pad situation here. I think the uh, walk along the uh, CalSAG bike trail is just an excuse to put distance, because this is the reason we are here. Yep. All right, well, we're gonna have to call this out. This is pretty excellent. All the plantings. We saw the herbs, the butterfly garden. Yeah. We passed the arboretum and the nature center. Yeah, this is all very excellent. All right, so if you guys, if anybody gets a chance to be down here and they don't have a lot of time and they're passing by, this is worth, I mean, it's all free. This is worth coming in if it's a nice summer day. Grab a sandwich, take a break, cop a squat. Do you have our sandwiches, by the way? Mm -hmm. okay. uh, we might as well make this kind of the last entry because what are you at? I'm at 2.8, so yeah, by the just gonna time walk. we walk around. Walk and go back to the car. Sure. Yeah. So that'll be three point something. Yeah. And um, I'm at a little over an hour, so that makes sense. So it'll be about an hour and a half with the full walk. The lake thing probably is can't be more than a mile. It's got to be less than a mile to just do the lake. Nice little spot. 
What a gorgeous day and a gorgeous scene. Right place at the right time. This is a Monet painting waiting to happen. Yeah. Do you agree with that? I do. I was thinking that. Oh, look at that duck. That was fun to watch. Yeah, this would be... What a, an excellent scene to paint. Yeah, you want me to tag you on my Instagram, Instagram story? Well, let's tune out here. So we'll see you tomorrow for another hike. Thanks for tuning in. It'll we got one more to bring you, so keep your uh, eyes peeled. The red, a little red schoolhouse. And that'll be the last one in Cook County for us. Yeah, another section completed. Let's go do it. Okay. <laughs> All right, turn back on because uh, we're at, around the bend here in the lake. If you look down at all the fish, it's really surprising because it's bright sunlight. I'm not sure what is going on that these guys are attracted to the bright sunlight. I mean, there's some big fish over here, right? Yeah. There's a sign that says don't feed the animals. Okay, I believe that. It's a history of the fish getting food right here. Boy, with all the lily pad coverage, it's so strange that these guys are out in the sun. Yeah. All right, onward. Okay.